like hello dudes and dudettes we're back with another dungeon heroes champion video today we are going to talk about gear that's actually what i'm in the process of doing right now some of you might notice hey you're on legend and you are looking for gear what is going on so let's talk about that because not everyone can do Elder Drake 10 or Widow 10. Um, some of us are still a little behind the curve. My, hey, I'm, I'm right there. So what needs to happen? One, you have to have leveled units to be able to do those specific dungeons. As you can see, I've kind of got the core that a lot of people agree with. I have the Light Boon Sister, the Water Time Mage. But they need to be leveled. So running legend accomplishes that. But also, it's very important, I mentioned this in other videos, to multitask. While I'm leveling these champions, I'm able also to pick up gear. Now, let's talk about picking up gear here. So what I'm looking for is just basically anything that's an upgrade. So it may not be optimal, it may even be white but something is better than naked and that's my strategy when gearing units because remember i already have to level these i can't take this guy into widow seven or eight and him naked or him being only level 20. so that is why i am actually still looking for gear while farming when we talk about gear let's take a look at our champions because champions are going to matter for what gear you're looking for except in the beginning in the beginning load everyone up with vital put your vampiric set on your farmer in my case my farmer is going to be fire blade master and she has my farming gear this is the free set that you get from completing 7-eleven normal if you're having troubles with that go ahead and feel free to add me in game it's Valans. now the only set i didn't level the 12 was this it is HP, which does help her, but due to the cost, I decided I was going to put that off before leveling this to 12. So when we look at gear, let's take my Crystalline Priest, Monus. I believe he's Monus. Is he Monus? And he is not. He's Zircon. I forgot these are actually jewels. So let's look at Zircon. They recommend Adept and Vital. Now, when you take a look at his skills, it makes sense. This is going to be a support type hero. And you want him to heal as often as possible. So when we look at our gear build here, now you can only get Adept from Widow. So since I'm not able to run Widow, I am equipping him with Vital Sets. This will allow him to live longer and allow me to get into Widow to start working on an Adept set. If you do not have the specific set the game recommends, and... Their recommendations are excellent so far. All the characters that I've geared that have performed very well. But if you don't have the recommend, recommended set, don't shelve the unit. Go ahead and put something in temporary. For instance, if we take a look at my Water Time Age, again, it recommends Adept and Precise. I was able to farm two Precise gear pieces from the scenario mode, but I went ahead and filled it in with vital because I do want these units to live since I don't have the optimal sets this will give me a chance to get into widow or elder drake and have my characters live which is extremely important once they live long enough they kill the boss I'm able to get loot and then I can equip the appropriate sets at that time so when you do a set like this when it's not optimal and you're just starting out you do still want to make sure that you're equipping relevant pieces to each slot. This guy is a DPS slash buffer healer. Excuse me, he's a DPS slash debuffer and healer. So you do want him to have good attack. Now I do have HP gloves on him because I haven't yet pulled attack gloves. I am gonna replace this slot with a attack sub or attack main stat or a crit main stat. Now, something also important, you'll notice this one's only at 6. Because I know this is not optimal for him, although max HP is good, this would be okay for a support type. We really would want to see maybe flat HP here, some defense here um, for a support type. But for now, th this will work. 
So I've only taken it to six. If you take a look at our next slot, he does need accuracy because he is a debuffer. So I do have accuracy here. The subs are okay. Attack speed's going to be fine. Crit damage, okay. Defense, maybe not so much. Now the last slot here is going to be attack percent as well. This is how I would normally build him with that attack. Um, I would not use attack speed on this character. Uh, I would use, uh, like I have here, an attack percent. So again, keep in mind, just because you do not have the recommended build, don't shelve the unit, put in what you have. In those situations, in this case with this debuffer slash attacker, I went with vital. Also, brutal would work. Um, keen would even work if you're looking just, you know, heavily rely on crits. But my two recommendations for this unit, if you do not have adept, or the ability to farm the uh, precise, two precise pieces, I would definitely go with Vital or Brutal. And you want to take all of these on a case-by-case -case basis based on what role they have in your group. Now, when we're going to dungeon, because I'm saying, all right, you're saying, Val, you make sense. Going to Legend or Epic Difficulty and farming gear makes sense because we have to level our units and while we're leveling, we might as well be on a lookout for gear. So let's take a look at what we have available in scenarios. We have vital, brutal, precise, uh, rapid, or excuse me, precise, rapid. I forget the crit name. Then we have defense and warding. So this is all we have available. Then when you look at the actual scenario, the boards, and then the scenarios within the boards, sorry about that. You can see that we have helms drop here, shoulders, necklace, gloves, chest, wrist. So we can farm for these specific ones. Now the great thing about Legend difficulty, if you are able to run it, is you can get up to 5 star gear. And while this shows 5 star green, I have gotten 5 star blues out of Legendary. Now granted, that's not something that drops every single time I run this, it is rare. But it can happen, and you are already here farming, so why not get the gear? That's going to make it that much easier when you're ready to move your team into Elder Drake or into Widow. Now, once you have your team set up, you have them decently geared, because obviously running Adventure Mode, you're not going to be able to get very high-end gear. You will get at most two subs from a blue piece of gear and at max five star. If both of them rolls into the sub that you want, that's gonna be a decent piece of gear. If the next two subs come out not so great, then it's still okay, it is just not optimal, but that's fine, because all we're looking to get is to make sure your character is not naked, that they are leveled, and that they have the appropriate stats on the gear pieces you're looking for. On these, on number, uh, on your shoulders, on your wrist, and on your gloves, you always want to have percent. You don't want flat stats on these. You're wasting a slot if you have flat stats, even in the beginning. So you want to make sure these three are always, always percentage based. So that's really the video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching Dudes and Dudettes, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.